Hi everyone. In this video, I'll show you how I make this scene, including building the fish and the bull, and running the water simulation. To make this, I use Blender for the modeling, with add-ons for the water simulation, and Substance Painter for detailing on the fish. Here I'm making the fish body out of metal balls, which I convert into a mesh. And then using sculpting, I refine the shape and add a mouth. And holes for the eyes and um, also add detail for the fins. Most of this I do with just the draw brush and then I smooth it out with the smooth brush. Occasionally I use the grab brush as well, which helps make those little spikes. And then I smooth them out. Here I'm just adding a little extra depth to it and making the thin areas a lot more thin. That way I can use some subsurface scattering so that the fins look a little more see-through. This is Substance Painter. I'm just going to add some scale details and color to the fish. So I set up a scale material on the entire fish. I changed the colors to more of a pink scale. And then I mask out all of the areas that I don't want to have scales. And then all of the areas where I remove the scales, I'll add a little bit of a skin texture to give the fish some bumpiness and a little more color. Here you can see I'm adding a pink color. I will also come back and add a little few uh, extra spots of white just to make it look like it varies a little bit more. And then I do all the outlines around the scales and the eyes in gray. This is a very quick texturing job, but for this animation, it doesn't need to be all that fancy. So now back in Blender, I apply the material I made in Substance Painter to the fish in Blender, and then I adjust some of the bumpiness factors a little bit. Obviously, you don't want the fish to be spiky like that. Now I'm modeling the eyes, which are just spheres that I paint um, some of the faces black on, and then give the entire eyeball a glass shader and duplicate it so he has two eyes. Here I'm adding the Rigify Rig, which is an add-on in Blender for rigging and posing. And I'll just move the bones here in edit mode to the spots where they need to be. And once I apply these to the fish, it will allow me to do the posing for the animation. So the add-on generates those controllers, those multiple colors um, shapes there. And then I apply the mesh of the fish to the rig. And I, I link the eyes to the eye bones in the rig. So after a little testing, it all looks good. The rig should be good to go to start animating. So to know where to animate him, I started by building the bowl. I started with just a sphere and cut off the top. Then I add more detail by subdividing it and make it thick using a solidify modifier. The material on the bowl is a glass shader. And this is what our scene looks like so far. Pretty cool. So the next thing I needed to do was to run a water simulation to see how it would look. And this first version of it will not interact with the fish at all. So this box is just the limits or the bounds of the fluid simulation. And the half sphere inside of the bowl is um, the water material. And I run this on low resolution first to see how it acts. 
and then I can adjust it before I do a higher resolution final version that will actually interact with the fish. So here you can see when I play it, the water splashes out when I start the simulation and I don't want that. So I scaled the water down to be smaller and that way it stays inside the bowl after I release it. So now I know where the water will be in general, I can start posing the fish. And I'm doing that just by changing the shape of the fish using the um, generated rig tools and adding keyframes. You can see at the bottom of the screen, uh, the yellow and white dots there are keyframes. And I just save new keyframes along the timeline as I go to make the animation. And this, this animating takes a lot of time and a lot of back and forth. In order to make it look somewhat smooth at all, you have to really compare um, everything ahead and behind of where you're at constantly. And just as a note, this entire project took me about three hours. I had three hours of raw footage before I cut it. So that just gives you an idea of how long it takes to um, create a simple character like this and do all of this animating. So here I'm just adding some extra interest by um, having the tail whip around, trying to match it to what I expect it would really look like when he's swimming. And then for all of the falling and jumping parts of this animation, I did it by eye as far as how fast they go and how they accelerate. I did not use any simulations for the fish as far as like gravity goes. And you can see I tweak the tail a lot. It's just to give it a little extra interest while he's flying his tail moves instead of just being stiff. Makes it look a little more natural. And once the animation is substantially complete, I will run the actual final fluid simulation, which will interact with the fish. So there you can see the animation loop. Tweaking the scene a little bit. And then I bake the new simulation. There it is without, and there it is with the fluid. So you can see it's working. And here's the final animation. So that's it for this one. If you guys like this format, let me know. I like to post the how-tos on my long form videos and then post the animation itself on shorts. If that works or if that's a really bad idea, let me know. Thanks for watching.